Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Batul Gagombo. I'm head of uh, the Institute of uh, Law Enforcement and Public Health, uh, Mongolia. Uh, it is uh, an honor to present to you uh, today about uh, the law enforcement and community, as well as the Institute of uh, Law Enforcement and Public Health, Mongolia. Mongolia and um, population uh, 3.2 million. Mongolia total la uh, land area is 1.5 million square kilometers. The capital city residents 1.4 million. Almost half of the population live in the one city. So um, there are some uh, public health and the social problems in our uh, city. For example, um, uh, Lambatra has been experiencing uh, exponential uh, rates of the population that grow in the recent decades. And most of the rapid growth has occurred in the Gir district area and the UB uh, creation and unplanned uh, densely uh, populated area in the city. Isolated area with the lack of uh, health and public service disorganized community and high crime rates, domestic and other violence and unemployment and alcohol overconsumption and so on. Therefore, we are facing a big question, how to deliver public service and, and to build the safe community. A very limited, um, the community service from the government in this area. And this is our main focus area um, to solve this problem and deliver health and other government services uh, to the Ger district community. The Ger mean is um, the, um, the traditional uh, dwelling for nomadic people. The felt tent uh, is it to uh, assemble and move. Um, the, the political system in Mongolia is um, structured uh, so that uh, national parliament is the uh, highest um, the organ of the state power and the uh, supreme legislative power is vested on only in um, the national parliament. The government of Mongolia, uh, the government is the highest executive body uh, of the state in discharging the duty of um, directing uh, economic, social, and um, a cultural development of uh, the country in uh, observance of uh, state laws. In the constitution uh, uh, of uh, the Mongolia, the Article 19, the state uh, is responsible to citizens for creation, economic and then social, uh, legal and then other guarantees, ensuring the human rights and the freedom for prevention of a violation of a human rights and freedom and the restore, uh, restoring, restoration uh, of uh, infringed rights. The law enforcement uh, agencies uh, in Mongolia are under the Ministry of uh, Justice and Home Affairs. And uh, we are uh, uh, very uh, close ties and collaboration with the Law Enforcement University of Mongolia. Some of our uh, researchers are from, uh, from the university. Uh, Law Enforcement University prepares um, skilled personnel who work for the agencies, such as uh, the General Executive Agency of a Court Decision, and National Policy Agency, the Border Protection Agency, and the National Emergency Management Agency. Um, the, also, the university has a um, research um, uh, center in the, pol uh, in the police studies and criminology, criminal justice, and forensic science, and so on. Uh, 
So now uh, I would like to uh, introduce uh, the Institute of Law Enforcement and the Public Health uh, Mongolia and history of the organization and our mission goals and the researchers and the team, uh, what we have done so far and we are aiming for uh, what we are aiming for in the near future. The Institute of Law Enforcement and Public Health Mongolia was established the June uh, 25th of 2020. Um, the organization was uh, registered in the Ministry of uh, Justice under the Mongolian law is a, a non-governmental organization. Seven of uh, our younger researchers in criminology and psychology, uh, specialists in uh, forensic uh, uh, psychology and criminal justice, and they gathered on that day and founded um, the organization. We had uh, uh, a several discussion uh, followed by the, our first meeting to decide our mission and goals. The main goal uh, of the organization is to contribute to uh, implementing implementation of our research and training programs and the projects in the field of law enforcement and the public health, learn more from the leading researchers and collaborate with other researchers and the organizations. Here, here are the researchers and then board members of the organization, the Batulga Gomba, head of the Institute of Law Enforcement and Public Health, and PhD candidate at the law school of uh, school of law uh, national university of mongolia my research field is a uh, criminology victimology and the criminal justice dr mukhtarj patirold the board member and director of the institute of criminology and the police studies university of internal affairs of mongolia his doctoral research topic is a theory and practice in crime in the criminal justice uh, statistic uh, Dr. Alton Sukhbatsukh, board member, senior investigating officer at the Anti-Drug Control Department, National Police Agency of Mongolia. His doctoral research topic is a new methodology of the anti-drug steps and comparative studies. Uh, also, board member Ms. Bayrat Masotnam. Uh, she's a specialist uh, at the Forensic uh, Psychiatric Clinic the National Center of Mental Health. The Ms. Dorch and uh, Sharuk Jantz, uh, General Secretary of the Institute of Law Enforcement and Public Health. And she is uh, a PhD candidate at the Institute of uh, Psychology, Chinese Academy of Science. Her research field is cognitive psychology and uh, memory. We uh, also have um, um, other researchers in the uh, in the law enforcement and social work and psychology, etc. Uh, since the uh, the institute, uh, the Institute of Law Enforcement and Public Health Mongolia was established. Um, we organized a workshop on the people with the mental illness, uh, challenges in the implementing the medical compulsory uh, measures. The workshop was uh, organized on 10th of November, 2020. Uh, we also collaborated on the research for the preventing domestic violence and pro uh, violence project, which was um, launched by the Minister of Justice in Home Affairs. The researchers uh, worked and researched the main cause of a violence and analyzed law to combat uh, domestic violence. Uh, as well as we uh, concluded the research on the um, cause of a crime and committed due to the alco alcoholism, uh, preventing our consumption of alcohol uh, 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 requested and uh, financially supported by the governor of Bayahongor province and the local police department. Um, the research um, uh, our project uh, was started uh, in November in uh, 2020, and uh, we completed uh, our research 
2000, uh, February 2021. And we have made the recommendation based on the research for the local authorities. Um, during our research in uh, Bayonggur province, um, there was a good example and the collaboration of law enforcement and public health uh, service and the local community. This is the Happy Life Community Center in Bayonggur. Happy Life was established in September 2020, uh, financially supported by the local governor and the local police department and the local companies. The center has uh, held uh, professionals and doctors, psychologists and uh, social worker, law enforcement and uh, volunteers who are helping and serving the people who are, are alcohol are dependent and the fall victim alcohol are our consumption. Um, it is um, a great example of uh, the collaboration between law enforcement uh, and then um, communities and the governors, and the health center to help uh, vulnerable people in the community. Uh, we are aiming for in the near future, um, uh, following our main area. And uh, firstly, we are aiming to make uh, further and better research. Uh, such as investigating issues uh, concerning domestic violence and alcohol uh, consumption uh, and uh, identify problems in the gaps between the police and the communities. Uh, also promoting research and the learning from uh, leading international scholars in the law enforcement and public health field. And secondly, we will uh, expand our collaboration uh, for example, work closely to support the build in the cap uh, capacity in the local communities, uh, collaboration with the municipal and the local administration, the local police and the health department, and so on, um, as well as uh, work closely with the law enforcement organization and NGOs um, in the future. The final words. Um, as far as we are um, uh, concerned, uh, law enforcement and public health is increasingly significant the research topic uh, with the positive implications for communities and then uh, objective facts. Evidence in, in inform the police service are uh, important to the health of our citizens. For instance, we witnessed uh, how the Bayonggur local police health center volunteers and communities work together to solve uh, problems and uh, achieve their goals of uh, improving community well-being. Therefore, we will work closely with them and make uh, further research and promote the good uh, practice by bringing together law enforcement and community and society. Okay, I have done my um, brief uh, presentation uh, for today. And uh, thanks for your attention and looking forward to look forward to your uh, support. And uh, wish you all the best uh, uh, to all the participants in the conference and, and good luck in your research in the future. Thank you so much.